Hey, Super Brave friends, I'm Joe Karlewski, the Super Brave Teacher, and today I am pondering the question, was I rejected or was I released? Yes, friends, like I said, my name is Joe Karlewski, the Super Brave Teacher, and I'm on a mission to tip Google, YouTube, and the world in a radically positive and accepting way for queer teachers like me, for LGBTQ plus teachers like me, so that we have visibility and voice and that we are seen and our stories are known. Little by little, we're changing, we're shifting the narrative. Thank you for watching this video. So as you all know, I am the eternal optimist. I can change anything into optimism. I believe in reframing. I believe in the importance of reframing a situation in a beautiful, beautiful way. And I've been realizing that with certain stories in my life, especially my coming out stories and especially my feelings around my family and how I've been treated over the years, there is still that narrative in my head or that, that story that I tell myself that I was rejected. I was rejected by the church. I was rejected by my family, which if I want to, I could prove and show that this is right and all these things. However, I've been realizing that that narrative for me, and once again, like I always say, this is my story, that narrative of being rejected and being rejected and poor me being rejected doesn't serve me. It really doesn't serve me. And in fact, the more I look at a word like rejection, I get to pause and ask myself, wait a second, how could you positively reframe that? Maybe I actually rejected the church. Maybe I actually rejected my family. They didn't reject me. Could be. The big word that I've been pondering and meditating on, that word, release. I really feel that the church released me, that the church couldn't hold on to me anymore, and it released me. That my family had to release me because they didn't know how to deal with a gay son or a gay son who was dating a guy, a gay son who got married, all those things. So I was released from that, at least for a time. And for myself, that reframe of like, I got to release myself from that church body so that I could discover new churches and new community and new friends and new people who could hold me and be there for me. And I got to release myself from my family in the sense that I got to release expectations and it release, especially like I've been talking about these stories that I've been putting on them or on myself about how my story has been. So I'm just sitting right now and I encourage you to do the same, to take something, especially those stories that you tell yourself and to go deeper into those stories and ask yourself, how could I reframe them so that I'm not just the victim always or so that I'm not putting someone in a negative light because like I said before, I really love, I still miss and love the church. I still miss and love my family so much. And I get to decide how I vocalize those stories. And right now where I'm at currently in my life is at the place where I get to say, you know what? There's been a release and there's a reason for that. And now I get to decide how to show up and I'm choosing to show up with love and kindness and empathy, and I'm choosing to listen more, <laughs> and I'm choosing to pause, and I'm choosing to, like I've said multiple times, to drop the rope and not just try to prove my worth or tr prove my story or prove how much I've been hurt because we've all been hurt. And for me anyway, it does me no good to just justify my hurt. It does me good to sit in that hurt, to jump into the wave of that hurt to feel that hurt and then to release it and be present, like I said, in loving, beautiful kindness. So that's where I'm at, friends. Where are you at? What, what reframes are going on in your life? What shifts in your narrative are you seeing emerge? And how has that helped you or how has that hindered you? Maybe this isn't a good thing. Maybe you're listening to this and you're like, uh, Joel, no thank you. So friends, like I always say, you are awesome. You are enough. You being you is enough. So I encourage you to release those stories you've been telling yourself and to just truly accept what is and to love what is, which is that you, once again, are awesome. Bye friends, Joel.
You're awesome too. You are enough.